How can J. Cole make the perfect album? The goal of this video is to curate ideas that can lead to the perfect J. Cole album. What do we need from J. Cole to execute this perfect album? Getting straight into it, the first and most important thing we need is a hungry Cole. In order to cook and eat, you know, you gotta be hungry, you feel me? We need Cole to have a certain type of hunger that he showcased on, like, Friday Night Life. Even some songs on the offseason, he proved that he still got that hunger in his heart. We just need that hunger on a whole nother extent. We need to starve J. Cole for 40 days on some Jesus shit. You feel me? 40 days and 40 nights. <laughs> I need that type of hunger. I need the most hungriest coal I can get. On Lil Yachty's and Mitch Gone Mad podcast titled A Safe Space, he briefly talks about his motivation that keeps him in the rap game. Sounds like his motivation is his fulfillment and his ability, which mentions shocking and impressing himself, setting the bar hot, and just pure excellence, you feel me? To me, it sounds like he is only looking to improve his craft, and with that motivation creates hunger. Hopefully, the same idea resonates with his music. I want to hear J. Cole rap like everyone in the world think he's trash, and he gotta prove us all wrong. In this podcast, he also mentions that he sees feature verses as exercises of his craft. So if this is what he doing in practice? Shit was sweet till we popped up and popped off the top of your mystic. I go ballistic. Hopped out a drop, got a drop on the up. Now I'm opportunistic. You'll be well prepared for the championship, bro. Which is the album, of course. But what is an amazing player without the championship team around? Now it raises the question. How can J. Cole make his next album perfect? The first and the most important, depending on who you ask, we're going to talk about the production. The production of any song is the most important thing, in my opinion. The production is the playmaker in this role. The playmaker is in control of what happens in the game, and the production is in control of the sound of music. The challenge for this perfect album is that we have to find producers that will specifically enhance Cole's pen game and creativity. We need Cole to get his bag, bro. First producer I thought of is the Alchemist, bro. He brought him there once. Sneakers nigga want me on the song, he gonna see the wrath of the reaper. And I'm 100% confident he has the ability to do it again the alchemist has been on a crazy run giving so many different rappers top tier songs and verses and others their best album there are two styles that alchemist can give cole the gritty style with the hard hit and boom bap drums or my favorite the drumless scent Drumless samples in a way forces any rapper to be about their purpose. It leaves so much space to go crazy, bro. It's like it's almost impossible not to get bars off to this. Gritty style also forces rappers to get their pin game up due to the nostalgia. 90s to 2000 feel that the drums give, which was a time where the majority of rappers was rapping, rapping, rapping. Y'all get what I'm saying? We have seen Cole benefit from this type of production on features such as The Secret Recipe with Yachty and Royce the 5'9. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like J. Cole cadence and delivery matches so well with this style of production. Would love to see more Alchemist collabs from J. Cole. I would also love to see him draw more attention towards the drumless lane in general with other producers as well. Likes of Mad Lib, you got um, Harry Fraud, you got Jay Versace, you feel me? Next producer, I feel like he needs a producer that is well diverse. The direction I'm thinking is Monty Booker, aka my favorite producer, aka the motherfucking goat, you know what I'm saying? And you got Kyle Banks as well, a living legend I've been constantly peeping lately. State of the universe on the line. I have faith that these two motherfuckers can create any type of beat if my life depended on it. Monty Booker is literally my goat. Alright, I'm kind of glazing, my bad. He has such a distinctive style of production and his impact in music is increasing by the hour. In my eyes, the nigga can't do no wrong. I've witnessed him make beats on some turnt shit, some smooth shit to relax to, love making music, alternative beats, boom bap, literally everything, bro. And to know, Monty Booker has been working with J. Cole in the past as rumored to be on the fall of. And he also got production credit on the director's cut of Revenge of the Dreamers 3. Now for Kyle Banks, he also has work on Revenge of the Dreamers 3 with four songs, not even on the director's, but on the main joint, you feel me? One actually being my favorite beat on the entire album with Lambo Truck, which is ironically a song about Rob and Cole. Cole, watch your back around this nigga. But all jokes aside, that beat is so insane, bro. Like, that nigga snap. Cal Banks have became one of my favorites recently. His palette is just way too versatile. I can't get enough of it, bro. Pause. He got production credits from Smino's Love for Rent to Isaiah Rashad, The House is Burning to Sir Chasing Summer to Baby Keem Die for My Bitch. Like, come on, it's too many, bro. Of course, we need some boom bap jams, so I'll recruit my boy Hollywood Cole that produced BB King Freestyle and Headshot. Then you also got legends he could work with, like DJ Premier, Ninth Wonder, you know. That's easy work for Cole, but I know whatever he get, he can rip that shit. He can even invite No ID in that shit, man. Last 
but definitely not least, I would love to see what a Metro Boomin' and J. Cole song will sound like. Just because I know Metro has been constantly improving the experiment. I can see Cole spitting some fire to an instrumental similar to Feel the Fire with ASAP Rocky on Heroes and Villains. And of course, all of his previous producers are welcome to. They can have their shot on the album as well. Even himself, because I know he produces well. These are just producers I would love to see Cole work with. You feel me? Now, we're going to talk about the features, man. This is everybody's favorite topic. Oh, who's going to be on this album? Oh, who's going to be on Cole's album? Oh, does he have features this time? Yeah, everybody wants to hear their favorite artists and their favorite rapper rap together. The first topic I'm going to talk about is the big three. You got J. Cole, Drake, and Kendrick. We already know this big three carry 2010's era of music. I feel like, for some reason, I feel like Cole will definitely have both of them on the album because he keep talking about the big three. He the only nigga that's talking about this shit. Like, bro, Kendrick do not address that shit. Drake don't address that shit. J. Cole always bringing this shit up. <laughs> Nobody give a... Sorry, all right. All right. Let me chill. I feel like he has the most interest in this conversation over Drake and Kendrick. He's the one that could bring it all on the same album. I'm not even asked for them two to be on the same song. I just want to see a Drake feature and a Kendrick feature. Rather if it's one song or two different songs. Next topic I have is rappers that can out rap Cole. Now the reason this is important, I know y'all probably like, bro, what, what you doing? Like out rap Cole? I'm fucking J. Cole fans butt hurt right now, but look, let me cook. If J. Cole gets people that can out rap him, that's gonna push him to go even fucking harder. Just like a lot of artists do when they make a song, then they add a feature on it and they hear how hard that person went, they go back, scratch whatever they did before and write a whole new better verse. I feel like J. Cole would be just like that because this rap game is competitive to J. Cole. He doesn't do it just for money. He has a passion to rap, you feel me? He don't take that shit lightly. Yeah, rappers that can out-rap him. Now, let me get started with one Lil Wayne, man. Oh, oh, don't boo me in the comments. I don't care. Lil Wayne is a GOAT. And Lil Wayne is known for taking nigga songs, bro. Like, this is his song now. But if J. Cole and Lil Wayne is together, Cole not having that shit, bro. I'm not saying he gonna top Wayne. Pause. Whoa. I'm not saying he gonna have a better verse than Wayne. I ain't saying he not either. You never know what can happen. Next up I got, this may cause some controversy, but I'm gonna say what the fuck I gotta say because shit, what the fuck y'all gonna do? <laughs> J.I.D., man. J.I.D. is just that nigga, bro. It's a reason why J. Cole signed that nigga, bro. And Forever Story still one of the best albums of this decade so far. In my opinion, I feel like J.I.D. is like the most perfect rapper to be with Cole because he brings some fun and excitement to J. Cole's music sometimes. Like, if you check out Revenge of the Dreamers or Off These, that fucking stick, 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 know what I'm saying? He bringing mosh pit music to J. Cole and J. Cole is rapping on it, bro. Who else is doing that, bro? Next rap I have is Conway. Actually, any Griselda nigga, I feel like any Griselda rapper will put the battery in his back. Like, I can name Conway, Benny the Butcher, Rome Streets. Like, they all got that type of, it's just that delivery that they carry. Like, they, they rapping like they mean the shit. The way it sounds, it's just like, ugh. Uh, like you, mm, like you can't listen to it without that stank face, you feel me? I said Conway because he's the most lyrical out of Griselda in my opinion. Next up, I have a rapper with my favorite rap style of all time, which is Andre 3000. Bro, when he hop on a feature, he ain't out rapping Andre, bro. I'm gonna tell you that now. He probably did on Party, probably not. <laughs> Next thing I feel like J. Cole need it's some Dreamville cuts in there because while I feel like J. Cole has such a big platform, Dreamville doesn't get the same love. All of these motherfuckers are talented as hell. All of them have something different to offer that can benefit on the album. Like J.I.D., he has a high rapping ability. Kai's got great storytelling. Arletti's got great vocals. Boss always come with the vibe. Earth Gang always come with some massive energy. Luke come with a nice delivery. And Omen, he just in like his lyrical bag, you feel me? So all of them have something different to offer that can benefit on the album i feel like it'll also be dope if he have a dreamville posse coat uh i say cut how how you say that shit a dreamville posse cut would be very very interesting but the other thing he need is talents from this generation i know he tried to work with the baby he worked with little baby he worked with 21 savage but you know that's more in the trap scene so people i'm thinking about smino he could make another song with smino i know he was on love for rent with the song 90 proof also on 1993 and sacrifices 
Saba is another artist that's a talent from the generation that's kind of in the same lane as J. Cole. So is Denzel Curry. I feel like these three names could benefit on the next album. I had to put some trap features up here, so I say he'll rather make a song with Travis Scott. I'm just having a little dope chemistry. The song Mafia was mad dope. I fucked with that. Travis Scott just got crazy energy, and I feel like he's versatile enough to just fit. Wherever you put them, for real. Next trap artist I have is Future, because Future is just goaded, bro. Like, Future is on the top of the trap game, bro. Like, everybody looks up the Future in the trap game. Future is gonna give you a fire verse, some fire-ass flows, bro. I promise you. Know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me cook real quick, because they can make a song together. I'm talking about Cole, Travis, and Future. Like, why not? You feel me? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, because I cooked up, bro. Well, if you get J. Cole rapping on that Be A London type shit, like, that nigga was snapping on that bitch. If he doing that, Future going to be going crazy. Travis Scott going to have to go crazy. That, that'll be a number one song on the Billboard, and I promise you that. Next up, we going to talk about is song concepts. You feel me? I'm not really going to talk about, yeah, you should tell this story, or you should make a concept about that, but I'm going to just tell you the vibe. We are talking about J. Cole. So we need, and I mean need, an in-depth storytelling song where he gets real introspective and make us feel like we're there watching all of this shit happen with him. Such as songs like For Your Eyes Only, O3 Adolescents, Fuck With Other Bad, Smoke Today, High For Hours, Once an Addict. Most of the time when you have a storytelling song, they're critically acclaimed to be your best work. Next concept, we got some chill songs. Sometimes you just need some shit to lay back to or like, you know, drive downtown to feeling real good about yourself. For example, you did that with Cold Summer. And of course, since I already got some trap features, we need Trap Cole again, bro. Like the song K.O.D. Now that shit was crazy. Rhyme scheme went crazy. You know what I really want from Cole? is a bar heavy ass freestyle. Back to the topic from Friday Night Lights, one of my favorites. You got the Black Friday when he rapped over All Right. Even the song The Cure. The Cure was so fire, bro. What's that shit he said in the beginning? I ain't hear that song in years. That shit used to be that shit, nigga. Shit is right. <laughs> Cold world, the new the neck king. If I ain't the illest nigga, I'm his new vaccine. Damn, nigga. First of all, that wasn't even the line I was talking about, but damn. And my bed is like a deck of cards. Two black queens. I know what you made last week. I just tipped the fucking waiter, nigga. Like he. Yo, y'all gotta hear this shit, cause he talking his shit. Bar heavy, bro. And we only 20 seconds in the song right now. What that feel like? Tell me what that feel like. Nigga, fuck your Twitter, bitches. Follow me in real life. Back, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, like I need the I need this hunger again, bro. I promise you, this hunger is crazy. Like coming off gates with that? Off gates? I love songs like that, bro. He going hard at it, but the beat is so chill and mellow. And of course, we need some impactful, meaningful shit that he always give us. Like love yours, crooked smile, like something everybody can relate to. Last but not least, we just need one hit song. Something that can be a potential number one on the billboard. So we gotta see my boy shine. Me personally, I feel like if like if it's a conceptual album and he have all of these things in his album, I want this album to be a perfect album, bro. This will honestly be his best album, bro. T somebody please tell me I'm lying. If he somehow find a way to make it as conceptual as To Pimp a Butterfly, this could be a best album of all time. This got the potential, bro. Let me know how y'all feel about this, man. What else would you add on the wish list for J. Cole? Perfect album, you feel me? I wish y'all have a wonderful day. Receive a lot of blessings, money, and positivity for the day tomorrow and forever. But yeah, let me know what y'all guys think, man. See y'all next time.